Morning, everybody. This is uh, Tuesday morning, February the 28th, the end of the month. I wanted to give you the tutorial of my family room, um, so here it goes. I hope you enjoy it. First of all, this little table that I'm going to show you right here that has the turtle and the candle on it, this used to be a clock table where the um, mosaic artwork is in the center. That used to be a clock. However, the clock never really kept time, so I decided to paint the board, flip it, take the clock parts apart, flip it over. I painted the board turquoise, and then I added all these little uh, glass rocks to them. As you can see, I didn't grout it, which I'm okay with that. I kind of like it not grouted because I didn't want to see all that grout, and besides, it let the turquoise come through the bottom of it. It was also the, where it's painted white, it was also painted black, and then I painted it white to go into my um, family room and with my accents of white, and then I um, it had a glass top, and I cleaned the glass top all up and finished it that way. Now, the cute little mirror box that you're seeing on top of it with the candles, that came from Sharon. She's so fabulous. She shows us how to do that on her YouTube videos. It's awesome. It's really easy to do. It's all by uh, the mirrors from the dollar store. So go check out her video on it. If you can't find it, let me know. Um, I can do a tutorial on it, but she's the one that actually designed it. And so I gleaned the idea off of her. It's very easy to do as well. Those candles that you see are battery operated and set on a timer. They come on in the evening, I think about six, and they run for about six hours and automatically go off. So I don't have to worry about burning my house down. So anyhow, so I'm gonna take you over to here. Here's the full pot of this room is this chair. And as you can see, this chair is lodged. Okay, so that's what I had in my whole entire house for about 20 years was the moose and the bear stuff. So I don't have these replaced yet. I'm working on that, but you know, everything takes a little bit of time. And like I've always said, you have to eliminate something before you can bring something else in. So um, we haven't eliminated those yet because I haven't found something else to replace them with. So I'm gonna take you over here to this cute little corner now this is an antique beverage tray and it was pretty beat up when i got it so i kind of cleaned it all up uh got the stains off the glass etc and then i spray painted it a silver color so because that's the accents that i had and then of course i put my beverage set my tea set that was uh inherited to me from my husband's um mother who passed away and then the big coffee piece um i don't know if you can tell that it's coffee but this piece right here this big large piece that i'm pointing to i got that off of ebay to add to my collection and i absolutely just love it and it's a nice little beverage cart and stuff and it goes really good when i do at, at halloween time which i will do a video of my halloween next this coming fall so you can see how i decorate it and i go full force on halloween so let me step back these shelves that i have here these came from home depot no i'm sorry hobby lobby and I just dry brushed them, the turquoise, to kind of match what I wanted. And then I got the S and the N that stands for me and my daughter, whose name is Natalie. And I spray painted them white, and then I added some glitter to them so that they sparkled. And then again, you can see my little crystal um, and lamp, I'm not lamp, crystal candle holder from the other tutorial. This cute little vintage sign, vintage chic. Um, got it at a uh, bazaar, and all it is is a cupboard door, you guys. She's taken a cupboard door off. She's painted it. She's roughed it up. She's chalk painted it and then wrote vintage chic, chic on it. And, of course, I fell in love with it and bought it. So then this cute little cabinet I got, a friend of mine had it. She wanted to get rid of it. So I like things that have lots of drawers, and I can put stuff in it and and batteries and backup stuff like that so and it keeps it hidden um the candles uh holders i got those at a yard sale just spray painted them up because they were kind of beaded up and um 
you can spray paint works wonderful you can change your color when you get bored with it and etc now this big huge wall piece that you're seeing the silver star motif on now that is again the peel and stick wallpaper i had this art piece that i bought at a yard sale for 20 bucks didn't like the design that was on it so i covered it with this peel and stick wallpaper and so that I could tie this same wallpaper that was in the living room into the family room and I uh, put it on this and I really like it this little starburst thing is also something that I made very easy to do if you like it send me some feedback and I can maybe do a tutorial or um, show you how to make them they're really easy and they're just made with a uh, kebab sticks so Here's a baby crib um, spring set that came out of a, a old, old um, baby crib that I turned around and I spray painted it and I've turned it into just a family where we hang pictures and stuff like that and it's, it's a lot of fun. It's kind of a piece that everybody likes to talk about. So over here is a cute little shelf. Um, that I bought again at a yard sale, just kind of painted it up, added some accent color to it. Um, and, you know, it's amazing what paint will do and how to use paint. So um, that's what I did with that, and I absolutely love it. I think I paid 10 bucks for it. So a lot of my stuff you're going to see is like a lot of yard sale stuff that I refurbished. The hydrangeas. I do always do a hydrangea arrangement in the spring that is in memory of my husband's mother who passed away in February about 10 years ago. So that's kind of my my tribute to her. So uh, these cute little silver lamps. Okay, I got these at a store called uh, Big Lots. Two of them for 70 bucks. They came in a box. They're kind of a zebra design. They call it a zebra design. If you look at the base, you can kind of see why. Comes with a lampshade, and they are silver. I didn't have to spray paint them, and I got two of them for 70 bucks. Pretty excited about that. This cute little candle battery operated. Big lots as well. Eight bucks, and it's got a lot of detailing on it. I'm hoping that you can see that detailing. There you go. And it is wax, you guys, so a lot of fun with that. More battery-operated uh, candles back there. That cute little table I got from Hobby Lobby on a clearance. And then over here, here's my new couch. I just recently, oh, I don't know, about four or five months ago purchased. Now I'm gonna show you these things on the wall. These are little canvas art. Uh, I, pay, I paid 30 bucks a piece for them. I got them at a store that we call Big Lots. Again, I love Big Lots. Very inexpensive. I don't know if you have one where you're from, but we do. And um, each one of those canvases were only $30, and it made a huge effect. I was able to bring up the turquoise up on my wall. So if you can hear my dogs barking, I apologize. That's my little wiener dogs. They hear me talking. So anyhow... A clock that I got a couple years ago for my husband for Christmas, um, and we kind of just went in there. It wasn't quite the right color, so we kind of touched it all up and and uh, changed the colors and made it match what we had in our living room. And again, there's one of those really awesome candles, uh, again, with all the detailing there that I got, this cute little stand. I got a, a church yard sale for five bucks and then fixed it all up. And it's actually a telephone stand. You put your telephone book in there and your telephone on top. But we use it as a little stand. So anyhow, so now I'm going to swing over here, show you some more shelves that I got from, of course, Hobby Lobby. I don't buy anything from Hobby Lobby unless it's on sale. Because, again, this is design on a dime, which I'm, you know, that's what I like to do. So I buy stuff when it's free shipping and half price. And so I dry brush these two with the turquoise colors to make them accent the colors that I have in my home. There's some more of the crystal uh, candle holders, and then there's candle holders next to them. They're not supposed to be there, but that's where I have them for right now so they don't get broke. Um, so anyhow, but those I got off of eBay again. Then I want to take you over to this, um, cute little bookcase. I had this in my store when I had a storefront. Um, and then 
there you go. There's a view of it. And it was all black, and I painted it with, this is one of my brush paintings that I did. I painted it white, but I kept the inside with the natural and left it just like that because it was all natural wood, and I absolutely love it. I think it looks really, really good. And then I just accented it with the battery-operated candles, some accents of turquoise. <coughs> Excuse me, sorry. And then you'll see in here, too, my husband kind of has a fit about this because he's like, Christmas is over with. But I wanted to leave the accent colors up, and I have these at Christmas time, so I left the Christmas balls out and the turquoise and silver, and I don't mind it. I kind of like it, so, you know, to each his own. So do what you like. Don't do what everybody else is telling you to do. You have to do what you like. So here's the full view of it again. The big medallion piece that's up on the top, yard sale, spray painted it and glittered it up. Cost me, I think, a dollar. So it's amazing what you guys can find at yard sales. So don't hesitate to shop at yard sales. And then if you go down here and look, this piece was bought for me from some friends that went yard selling on the weekend. I couldn't go, and I think they paid two bucks for it. And then I got all these candlesticks at a yard sale. I think maybe I paid $10 for all of them. So it's amazing what you can find at yard sales. So don't give up yard sales. I want to show you this really cool mirror as well. Okay, see this? This is a frame. I bought the frame at an antique store. And then I took, I don't know if you can really tell. Let me get a little closer. Okay, so those are one by one square mirrors. And then I put those on a back of a canvas and I glued them on the canvas and then I stuck them into this frame because I absolutely love the frame and I wanted it to continue to look old. And so I think it turned out pretty well. Uh, got the mirrors off of eBay, so they're very inexpensive. And you can do the same thing, so plant stand, I got at a yard sale, spray, spray painted. No, I think I actually got this at an antique store and spray painted it. And then I added the, as you can see, I added the glass pieces to it again. And I, again, I didn't grout it. So um, anyhow, so that's kind of my, that is my family room. Let me give you another good sweep of it. If you have any questions or you want to know where I got something, don't hesitate to make a comment. Tell your friends. We're trying to get this up and moving and rolling and stuff. Um, again, this is Sunny's Designs on a Dime. I'm a big yard sale shopper, you guys, um, and you can, you'd can you be surprised what you can find. I don't know if your cities do that, but our city here is huge for that, and um, all summer long we start... We start in about April, and then in the summer go really, really strong. So, anyhow, I hope you enjoyed this video. I uh, hope all is well, and uh, look forward to the next video soon. Thanks.